don't even think about splitting that infinitive. Next time you're nabbed by the grammar police, know your rights. Because chances are those jerks are enforcing a few fake grammar rules that today's linguists and style manuals don't support. No initial coordinators. So you've probably been told to never begin a sentence with coordinators, like and, so, or but. But this is not just dead wrong, it's undead wrong. <laughs> Linguist Arnold Zwicky calls no initial coordinators a zombie rule. No matter how many times you shoot this ghoul down, it keeps coming back. Zwicky speculates that this fake rule comes from elementary school teachers fighting against children's tendencies to overuse conjunctions. And I went to lunch and I ate tater tots and then and then and then. Passive voice. Okay, we can all agree that using the passive voice too often is really annoying. The trout was caught by Alice. The gallon of ice cream was eaten by Jeffrey. Jeffrey got a stomach ache later. That's not in the passive voice. Passive voice makes sentences sound like they come from a police blotter, but there's nothing technically wrong with it. Some writers use passive voice in moderation for effect or to vary sentence structure. It's not wrong, but yes, it should be used frugally. Less is fewer. In 1770, the Merriam-Webster Dictionary of English Usage laid down the law. The word less is used to describe an uncountable collection. Less water, less respect. Fewer is for countable objects. Fewer blueberries, fewer rubber gloves. But this doesn't always work. I mean, is it really better to say that the party is fewer than five miles away or the plumber says it will take fewer than two hours? If fewer makes a sentence clang, don't feel pressure to use it. Never end a sentence with a preposition. Some languages actually do ban the terminal preposition, like classical Latin. And Anglican Bishop Robert Louth continued this convention in an English grammar guide he published in 1762. But English is not Latin, and other linguists have pointed out that it's perfectly natural to end an English sentence with a preposition. This is one wrong grammar rule up with which I will not put. Never split an infinitive. This is a callback. Infinitives, the pure unconjugated form of a verb. In English, they come prepackaged with the word to. So, to dig, to sneeze, to saw. Splitting is when you stick an adverb in there, to gleefully saw. Though high school teachers love to get the red pen out for this one, modern style guides are almost unanimous in saying you should feel free to proudly split the infinitive when the sentence calls for it. So what's your favorite grammar rule to pedantically enforce? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe and check out 10 wrong grammar rules everyone knows at How Stuff Works to gleefully learn more with dot. <laughs>